Hi everyone, it's Brittany with Weight Loss Adventures and it is week two weigh-in day. Ugh, is all I have to say about this week. This week was not good to me and I was not good to this week. I'm going to just get right down to business. Last week I weighed in at 252 pounds. I was super excited about that. I lost six pounds last week. Uh, I knew that this week would be difficult because I normally lose weight super slowly. Uh, I was expecting maybe two pounds, you know, which would still be great or even one pound. But no, this week was really bad, really bad. I don't even want to do this video, but failure is all a part of weight loss. So I'm human, I make mistakes, and I'm just going to get to this and admit what I did wrong. So this week, I weigh 255 pounds. That means I went up 3 pounds. Looking at the scale, I was devastated. Really devastated. I was so excited and so proud of myself. I went a whole week with no cheats last week. Um, no going to restaurants, no eating any bad food, and then switching over to week two, I don't know if I just made excuses for myself, like, oh, I did so good last week, I don't need to worry about it as much this week, I can relax. Well, relaxing leads to failure and leads to stepping into old habits. This week, I had a lot of birthday celebrations, it was my husband's birthday, two of my friends' birthdays, and my mother's birthday. So we went to Pizza Ranch for my mom's birthday. I have no control when I go out to eat. That's why I normally never go out to eat. So, and Pizza Ranch equals pizza and all of the bad things that I'm not supposed to eat. So that was bad. And then for my husband's birthday, he loves pizza. So... I tried to go a little bit more healthy by making homemade pizza, but it's still what it is. It's still pizza. So pizza two days during the week. And then um, I also hosted a spring party this week. Um, I like to do parties at my house like once a year. And since everyone had birthdays, I figured it was the perfect time to do it. And it's almost spring, so perfect. Well, that means that... Um, I eat bad food because I have to have snack foods. So something I need to look into next time when I'm not trying to screw it up is how to host a successful party while providing delicious but healthy snacks. So that's going to be my biggest goal for my next party. And also with the party, drinking. Yes, I had a few drinks. I mean, I didn't go super overboard. But that still makes you retain water weight and makes you bloated and feel like crap. So I really shouldn't do that anymore. But yeah, so that just wasn't good. And then after drinking, you feel like crap and then you want bad food. And then my grandma ended up coming over with some KFC. That's not healthy either. So I ate that. And then um, that evening, I was like, oh, I made an excuse for myself. Like, oh, I did so horrible. I gained three pounds. I'm starting over on Monday, so you know what? Screw it. I want a cheeseburger, so I'm going to get a cheeseburger. So then we went to Culver's for supper last night, and this freaking week has been a disaster. I'm so disappointed in myself. Um, this is just like a huge indication of what happens when you are so used to living one way, and then you change, and your brain just gets crazy. You make all these different excuses. Like, literally, my brain will make any excuse if it means I get a freaking cheeseburger. I don't understand it. It makes me so upset. <sighs> Sorry, this is going to be a venting week way in, but you know what? I'm human. I forgive myself. Yes, this week was atrocious, but I'm starting over. Today, I started out my day really well. Um, I took my Modair products. I drank water and... I had a healthy breakfast consisting of some scrambled eggs with a piece of low-calorie toast. So I started off just how I do every other week. This week I'm going to crush it. I'm going to work my butt off. And I'm not allowing myself any, any cheats this week again because that seems to help me. 
So no going out to eat, no cheeseburgers, unless I make it healthy with turkey meat and light mayo and healthy buns. But anyways, that's my goal for this upcoming week. I didn't even do any helpers. Like I didn't try anything new this week. This week I just pressed the off button and now I'm flicking it back on because I'm not letting myself go back to how I used to be. So this week is a whole new week. I'm really excited for week three weigh in because I know it's going to be better than this one. It can't get worse unless I give up. I'm not giving up. So this week, no cheats. I'm completely pumped. My home gym is completely finished. We got everything ready in it. So I'm going to use the crap out of that this week. And yeah, that's pretty much the scoop of things. For weight loss, my goal, I'd still like to be 240, but that means I'd have to lose more than five pounds. Is it achievable? Yes. Can I be 100% sure that I can make it? No. So I would love to be 240 something by next week weigh in. Um, it's not my number one goal though. My number one goal is no cheating and to get back into a routine and then go from there. I'm really sorry that I couldn't provide you guys with some motivational numbers of weight loss. You can do it. I can do it. But in your weight loss journey, you're going to have failure. You can, if you can find someone who has not had one day of failure in their weight loss journey, please send them my way because I would love to interview the crap out of them. So those are my goals. Please, if you're watching this, forgive me for my awful week. And I will promise, I promise right now to bring you a better week next week. And I hope that you guys are all doing wonderful on your weight loss journeys. If you have any motivation or any tips for me, please drop them in the comments below because I could really use some motivation and some tips. So thank you everyone. And I will see you next week for weigh-in.